All right, and we are back to Legacy of the Dragon. Now, I have let time go by a little bit. The mod author said there might have been an issue with the dragon spawning. So I went ahead and just in case there was a bug, in case uh, it wasn't fixed, but I think, I think it did end up getting fixed, as you'll see later. Uh, so I went ahead and I spawned some dragons, just so, you know, we don't have to worry about not having dragons and only having Valerian Meraxes and Vagar. So I thought it'd be good enough to have a few more dragons. Of course, right after that, Vagar uh, hatched a, or uh, laid a clutch of eggs. So that's going to be interesting. I gave them all to the uh, dragon pit. So they're going to be hatching in there. Where are we at now? Well, let's go ahead and look over these dragons. So one of the uh, commenters that I have here uh, mentioned uh, he's been doing a lot of cool roleplay and stuff like that in the uh, comments, and I appreciate that. It's pretty cool. I believe the name. Hold on, I have it here. Yeah, Aaron Beckett. Yeah, yeah, Lord Beckett has been helping us out, uh, out like uh, Cutler Beckett from uh, Art of the Caribbean. I gave us some cool dragon names to go with, which I've included some. Uh, we have Nesserai. Which I thought was a pretty cool, interesting name. Uh, is a supporting dragon. It is from Princess Dainies. This is actually the first dragon to be hatched from the clutch here. Uh, from the bleeder daughter. She's uh, currently kind of dying, so it's not really uh, kind of sad actually. But it's okay. We also have a Jade Wing, which is Ainie's dragon. He is an impulsive and supporting dragon, and an unhealthy worm. So sort of just like his uh, his master here, uh, kind of weak. And then we have Worm Child, which is Magor's dragon. So Magor actually was able to hatch a dragon and get one. Uh, it is a restrained dragon. I like the red there. And we have Pluteros, which is Aemon's dragon. It is a solitary and impulsive dragon. It is a black purple dragon. I thought that was pretty cool. And we have Scales, which I thought was a, a funny name because the daughter, my daughter wanted to name it and she's pretty much a spitting image of Rainies. Couldn't say no to her. It's a nice dragon. It's a friendly, great drake, which I thought is pretty cool. So what about our children? Well, Aemon the Mad is what he's known now. He has been uh, trying to submit rule over Dragonstone. Ended up uh, breaking the uh, rules set by the Faith and marrying multiple people. His uh, first wife here died under suspicious circumstances, Rainies. Uh, gave him three kids. But he also married, I thought this was interesting, he married a, a wildling. So that's pretty cool. He was able to have a daughter named Vicinia from his Valerian wife, but a son named Egon, straight from uh, half wildling, half high Valerian, which I thought was a pretty interesting, interesting kid. And we got Yugar here, uh, firstborn son of the high Valerian families. So he might be, yeah, he's covetous. He might be a little bit uh, jealous. And we have a series. He died. He was sickly. And Harias uh, just got born along with uh, Damien and Daenerys as well. He also married again to some uh, Riverlander. But it looks like the wildling girl is giving him most of the children. So that's how he's going. And we also have Aenys the Hatchling. So Aenys... I thought it would be a uh, good RP. He He's weak. He's compassionate. Uh, he does have a dragon, which I thought is, uh, okay. Uh, that's pretty inter pretty crazy. Uh, went and become a, became a maester. Uh, this was one of the things that he, like, kept begging for and begging for, and actually Vicinia actually, like, kind of rooted for him, was like, hey, send him to the wall, or send him as a maester, and we can get a uh, favor from the maesters himself, as the uh, second born son of uh, Aegon the Conqueror. Like, okay, yeah, sure, why not? 
And then Megor, of course, uh, I went ahead and I re uh, removed his refusing marriage that he had. Uh, is a sadistic, craven, paranoid man. Irritable. I could put him on the King's Guard, but I think it's more interesting if to find out what he does. Don't know who he's going to marry. I might marry him off to his sister here, uh, Danies. Uh, who they're turning out pretty well. And where are we at now? We are A on the Conqueror is ill. Infirm and turns out ended up getting cancer. It's an RNG thing there. So I thought this would be a good episode to start if Aegon is about to die. Uh, we were able to finish the Red Keep. Check that out. Full on Red Keep. Really, really cool. Uh, he has been ignoring his family, especially his mad son on Dragonstone. He's been focusing, we've been 100% focusing on the realm and stability here. Uh, we have not taken any part in making sure our son ends up uh, decent, so Aegon's sort of an uncaring father has resulted in his mad son and a covetous third son, perhaps treacherous villain, to be still. Uh, the dragon pit was finished. I went ahead and I named it Vicinia's Hill. Uh, the only city that we don't have is the Great Sept here, which we can construct if we're zealous, so if we create a zealous character or get a zealous Targaryen, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, this might be the, the Grand Twilight of our our king here. We ended up uh, doing a lot of stuff, we constructed a lot of things, we just started our legend seed here, and we we're about to increase the quality. But it seems like Aegon might die before it happens. If he dies, he dies. We get to play as the Mad Prince. He's a deceitful, arbitrary, brave, authoritative. Our court physician has not been helping it. Oh god. Well, there we go. Yep, King Aegon of the Iron Throne's soul has finally been cast as the Seven Hells. Oh, that was kind of rude. At 56 years of age, he died of cancer. A hollowed shell of his former self had long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. King Aemon ascends the throne. Having mastered his many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. All of the evil the dragon music starts. Continue as King Aemon. Okay, first things first. Our vassals are weak. Well, I pause. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have an artist uh, display it. All right, first things first. We have, our father was too lenient on our vassals, I think. Uh, he let them go, and a lot of uh, a lot of stuff happened, especially that great betrayal. Not quite sure how we're gonna do with that. So, Amond is an authoritative. Voice carries weight, striking fear. Okay, so he's very fearful. He's like, you will do what I say no matter what, like dict dictator type. Okay. He's brave. Fears nothing. Doesn't fear his weak vassals. He's deceitful. He can lie. But, you know, means to an end. Arbitrary. He does not care about justice. He cares about himself. Okay, he also has dragon dreams. Aemon is haunted by premonitions and visions of possible futures. And he is a lunatic. I'm guessing the dragon dreams uh, first gave him lunacy and then like came in. He is fortune builder. He's a hunter. Observant pathfinder. Okay. Scarred. Knight and traveler. Okay. Now my brother could have us have him be married to Danies and Vela. That would be the right thing to do. But I think the correct thing for us, uh, we want them. We want them to be ours and not Agor will have to have to deal with it. Be taking both uh, both princesses here. And Princess Janie, all you gave me was one wife, or one, sorry, one uh, kid. That just happened. So maybe we're still useful. We'll see. We could uh, end up divorcing her. I have all Targaryens. My main wife, though, who's giving me my heir is Morna, Berserker. She's pretty interesting. 
Uh, we're going to be focusing on defense here. My Castellan should be someone who is focused on... Go ahead and inherit my father's legend. Start promoting that one. I should be focusing on making sure that the vassals never, never uh, go against this again. So I think the gold cloaks will have him oversee the realm, fortify the defenses. Kings, in. you never know who could be out there trying to trying to be sneaky. Uh, Tristan the Mary, he's old. He could be controlled. Uh, the Steward will make the Lannisters loyal to us. Master of Arms, Merwin, Spymaster. This one is super important. People of Bronzeholm, sure. My Admiral, of course, will be the... is. Damon of Driftmark will be my admiral. His sister was my first wife. I don't know who murdered her. Iron Island still control these. We're gonna have a grand funeral for my father. We're gonna have it on Dragonstone. I think we should probably try and taking somebody out at this funeral. He is a lunatic. Okay, Lord Artos the Timid. He could be a threat to us. Let me go ahead and take him out. Let's see, they're the ones who resisted us the most. And he probably would want vengeance for his brother. Okay, and we're gonna need a new crown. I don't want to just be like my father. So we're gonna have to start a new crown soon. Maybe we will blackfire. I will be like you, father. Yes. Iron Throne. They're all in the Dragon Pit, so we're good. Agor. We could find someone with the Danes, perhaps? Lyra Dane? Megal? Sure. Or we try to keep, you know what? Probably try to not keep it as paranoid as possible. Uh, this guy, uh, get him out of here. He's already had kids. I think imprisoning him would be the right way to go. I can't really murder him, so I think imprisoning him would be important. I choose her for Magor. Dragonstone is fit, uh, fit to be Aegon's final resting place, and I'm left alone to gather my thoughts and prepare for the arrival of the Honored Mourners. Good, get him out of here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Banish him to the Night's Watch. We won't accept it. You say no, I, I've done nothing wrong, huh? Yeah, well... Sorry. Alright, and you... Marry my brother. I know it seems like it might be going like a little fast, like, whoa, this guy's just going crazy, but remember, we are arbitrary. We are, uh... Doing our own thing. We are a... We're not a nice guy. He has little regard for others. 
He is a lunatic. I'm trying to base this mainly off of perhaps Ares. Uh, I would like to think that he, he tried to put him on the Night's Watch first, but him saying no really pissed him off. And saying no to the king, I mean, well, this guy must be plot. He must be part of a, a bigger plot against us, just like the uh, the northern northern lords. So, get him out of here. Burn him at the stake, and we'll have uh, we'll have y'all. Factions against me. Your loyalist, good. Independence faction. So, people are trying to declare independence, huh? We can try. Liberty focus, okay. Accepting, huh? Big beard's pretty cool. Uh, I promise to be a better king than him. Yeah, I think I'll be better than my father. Tell my son you are. Yeah, not to worry about it. And uh, change the uh, spin here. So Oh, terrifying calamity. SRI. In order to preserve her natural instincts, I sometimes allow live prey to be hunted by Maserai. Today I have locked a deer in with her. I started taking the hunt with the ferocity I have not seen before, shredding flesh eagerly with powerful jaws. More than that, though, she seems to have left the creature still alive, rather than burning the meat before eating as... Rather than burning the... Well, I'm... But before eating as before an asteroid, it looks to be saving the blood and viscera in her small. Almost as though she's reveling in the bleeding of the uh, animal. Nice. A mad dragon, it seems. I will be guarding my son. I'll pr be protecting him. Just like I'll be protecting her. My second son, Ugar. Being trained by my friend. Okay. will be trained by my friend as well. Damien. Who should Damien be trained by? Traveling, okay. It's a rare person who can go an entire face without needing at least a little time outside, away from the hubbub, even if only to relieve themselves. Fortunately for me, Lord Artos is no exception. From nearby alcove, I watch as he wanders along the edge of the ocean close to the walls. My blackjack clutched in hand. I have need to hit him hard enough that he's stunned. The water will take place, uh, care of the rest. It'll even look like an accident. Nice. I've got the element of surprise, so if the plan goes awry, bolting in time shouldn't be a problem. Sadly, it likely won't wait. take much questioning to note my suspicious absence. A sturdy blow and a firm push. Got him. Good. The Starks will be of no problem for us. Make a quiet prayer. Have a round of drinks for everyone. Mm. I'll drink in the offering. I think I need a new uh, new look. Yeah, getting a little bit of a uh, your tunic. I have the noble stormlander outfit. About the legacy of the dragon armor, yeah. There you go. Cloak. Could that be? I think that's cool. Uh, cool look right there. Oh, what am I doing? 
Basinia needs to be my head of the king. Is that possible? Or is it not? Because she's a, a woman. Well, I, I can designate her as regent, though. Can't I? Interesting. Her as a spy. Uh, what was this for? Uh, she's all crying. Argilla gazes out into nothingness before her. Not a tear falls from her eyes, and a word passes her mouth until she turns to me. I don't know, it could be cruel indeed. Why does the sea continue to push it to the shore? Why does my body ache for food and thirst for water? Doomsday is upon us. Yeah, sure, sure. Must be bummed out that I'm the king now. <laughs> Uh, we have fond, uh, fond memories. Remember the time I was released by him. How can I forget? Yeah. He was being too kind to you. That's what I remember. Not gonna destroy anything. I really like the name Egon. So, like ice and fire type vibes right there. All eyes fall on me. Good. Very good. His speech promising to ruin his honor. Good. Other faction creating I guess. Alright, this is the set before you, the light flickering in the wind. And we burn King Aegon. Rest in peace. Right, now we're gonna have to deal with the Iron Islands. And murder scheme them. And we're gonna need New King's Guard. We have one, two, three slots available, so. A grand tournament should be in order, like a jousting tournament. Or suit in King's Landing, the newly rebuilt King's Landing. A joust and then a melee. And we should be trying to recruit knights for that, but we need 300 gold for that, so. Igor there. Igor believes in monogamous. Uh, oh, monogamous. We're still poly polygamous. Okay, let's see if anybody else is trying to trying to get us Dorn, huh? You guys try to learn Valyria? Yeah, right. I don't think it's someone common as you to do something like this. Oh, this guy's trying to fight me? With the eager recruits. The young soldier. Guess I haven't seen before. Seemingly just another trainee eager. He clashed, but then he seems to be actually trying to kill me. Strike him down. See? They're sending assassins for me. They're trying to kill me. It's the Dornish. I know it's the Dornish. And after I gave my father gave back the uh, crown of Prince Mors Martel. A dragon needs to 
needs to get better. They're all trying to get me. They're trying to kill me. I'm not paranoid, but I feel like I should be. <laughs> be my brother working with the uh the maesters we're getting a lot of legend promoters so that's good to increase that quality Um, Lady Permit Argella is having an extramarital affair with my vassal. I actually defy the sanctity of her marriage. Um, call her out prisoner. Uh, not a liar. Still no need to imprison her just yet. My knights are calling each other out and will the audience the latter person of the throne room clutching his sword hilt cry squirrely is only one of us can claim to be the king's most skilled knight maybe outside and I'll settle this question I would cut you to pieces where you stand and offer the presence of my lord you fool hearted ogre apologize on my spirit of life oh it's getting down 35-35 may the best knight win I feel like he would uh he would do that and Quirley's killed him. Nice. How many knights have the King's Guard have you killed? No, just one. Okay. Nice, Lord Corley's. Excellent. I feel like the Emperor right now. Uh no money to spare for you. Uh our nobility is High Valyrian only. People are proud of warriors. Yep, that's true. Not peasants like you, like the rest of Westeros. They're all nothing but peasants. All of them. Why are we... Yeah, why do we have to bow to vassalage and worry about our... what vassal is gonna rebel or not? When we can do whatever we want with them. We are closer to gods than men. After all. Yes, that's what that's what we need to know. That's what we're doing here. We do what we want with who we want. I can join someone's hunt. Yeah, I can do that. I do like hunting. Well, actually, I'm trying to save my money, aren't I? I want to be able to have a grand tournament, get some more Kingsguard Knights. Hell about Aegon. Not the nobles, not the people. Aenys got ill. The loyalist faction? Good. Try to influence my son's personality. Make him more authoritative. Egon had a serving boy sweeping for, uh, no, he was sweeping for the servant boy. Let the servant tell you what to do? Drop that immediately. Hard look in the eye, he tells the boy, sweet boy, that is your lot in life. That is very true, son. I need you to learn the old tongue. Learn wildly. <laughs> do all these inspiration projects. Need to upgrade that. Let's 
assassin get the kill of Lord Roderick? Sure. Uh, apparently using his battle axe to prevent the assassin. Ah, oh, damn. Dang, if he's after that, we're gonna have to take him out. Rebel against this. Some loyalists. People would probably all rebel against me though. What of it? We have our dragons. I think we'll need new Kingsguard first, so let's go ahead and search for them. Temple fighters who are unmarried or an adult and male and are not rulers. Justin Rushmore, Septon, Ethan, Frank, just, just for counter, so let's go by age. Chris Roseworth, it's not a knight. Raymond Garnier. Simon Cleffery. Leaf. Queen Illyria. That guy would be kind of cool. It says our gods are wrong. Marrying the Drunken. Need more Skyfall. <laughs> Gonna need some new, uh, new knights then. No one wants to protect me because my uh, polygamous nature. The uh, High Septon. Probably not a fan of. Feature some dragon lore. Go ahead and do uh, this assault. He's still trying to get some independence. I think we're gonna have to take out the Iron Islands. I think that's the best thing to do here. I am try to imprison him. Then anyone who rebels, maybe this will be an out, like out everybody. Like show who's it, who's against me, show who's not against me. Oh, and I also didn't need to make a new. I can drink wildfire, turn into a dragon if I wanted to. I think I need a new crown. Lena Targaryen. Nera, that's a good one. Where the hills myself. Spurs, thank you. We need a quote smith. Magor will make my crown. Oh, sorry, uh, Prince Magor. Having a lot of illness. Uh, could you do your job? Do advanced research there. Get some more money, and we will. 
Demolition new crown. Crown for myself. Crown of the Red Dragon. Crown of Fire and Blood. Crown of the Red Keep. Pretty cool. Crown of the Freehold. Crown of the Iron Throne. I think that would be cool. Crown of the Iron Throne. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that's cool. We're gonna go ahead and rename that to Crown of of the Mad King. And it's like piercing his head and Oh yeah, it's going straight to his head. Now that I have my crown. No one will fall against that. No one will rise against me. Surely he'll accept his imprisonment like the other lord did. He will accept his lot in life. He'll be burned at the stake for his treachery. Plotting. All the banners then. Anyone joining with him? Coins and Dark Arrow. Is that Summerhall? Can I take Summerhall? No, damn, it's right next to Summerhall though. Alright, well, let's go get him. Start at Sea Guard. I'll tell my mother to conduct terror campaign, and he needs as well. Used. Fine. Greyjoys have joined us. Hmm. Maybe they can be, uh. They can be taught a lesson. Heard of Faith of the Seven. If it converts, maybe they can keep the Iron Islands. This is what you get for plotting against me. Yeah, this, oh man, that crown looks sick. I'm so glad I chose that. <laughs> there you go. Him out. You know what? I'll eat it myself. That dragon keeper. I don't know why like I stopped being my head dragon keeper. That's okay. I'll crush this rebellion even without my dragon. Without taming my own dragon. Son, he has a guardian. He has Jorso. Okay. What about my what about Daenerys? She has a guardian. I'll make it Sinya. So, yeah.
she will be taught by Dragon Keeper. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I lost a lot of them. Oh, I forgot to... I got these scatter fleets, didn't I? These... That's okay. I care not for the wealth of the realm. Here to stop traitors. Give me a skull goblet? Hold on. Goblet. But I can still red rain from him. That'll be a fine trophy. Skull goblet. Nice. And the skull of Dinny's. So we have red rain now. And we'll kill him off too. I got invalidated. Right. Imprisoning them. Banners, rally the troops once again. They're all loyal. Pike is still allying with us. Uh, a Targaryen should be ruling the Iron Islands. Maybe Magor? Give Magor the Iron Islands. And I can go ahead and give him, uh. I'll give Magor Dark Sister. I'll give Magor Dark Sister. And, man, the third son, the third brother, will have to get Red Rain. I'm not giving it back to the rings. That's already that's gonna be a non non starter there. <laughs> See, that is our what's okay, come on. Get it. Yeah yeah, that looks sick. Look at that big red line right there. That's cool. And all this. Oh, I should probably look into my dragon dreams. All right, dragon seeds. Study our scheming. We forged the Valyrian steel blade. Found an expedition. I would have looked into dragon dreams or anything like that. Just occasionally, I'll have them. Everybody's getting a taste of the Ironborn, man. Everybody's trying to screw him over. Get fire obsessed. Rainy's is doing her thing.
is a maester. Still chilling there. I don't know what uh what chain does he have? He has twelve chains. He has two in Valyrian steel and one in yellow gold. Nice. And I have like all my money is gone. I should have split the army and not used 80,000 then. It's the price of uh, having a giant army, I guess. We'll have Magor lead. Having Magor lead the uh, our Senya. Senya will be good. Let's see you burn it all down, please. Command a trial by combat? Yeah, sure. Um, who would fight for me? Would Megor fight for me? Are you at Megor? Fine, Aelor Dark Tide. We'll fight him. Nice, justice is served. I can execute this guy for fun. Trying to steal your sword back. Not gonna happen. Brought the realm into massive debt just to uh it's to kill the Iron Warden. Is that? Daughter is cynical. I'm having a big battle here. Dragon gun, what? Wait, what? Then he was eaten by Rainies. Why? Why did... what? Huh? They like, fight each other? Vagar's off doing his own thing now. Why... Eaten by Princess Rainies of Dragonstone's Dragon in a Dragon Duel? Why... why is she... oh my gosh. They must have dueled each other for something. Holy moly. Okay. Well, we're gonna end that episode there. Uh, you guys are gonna have to decide what to do with Rainies. Maybe they got too upset. Maybe they, they had some sort of spat with Aegon dead. One of them was saying, like, who should be king, who should be... Maybe, okay, here, maybe the lore is while I was away fighting, uh, one of them tried to, Rainey's, uh, I don't know, maybe they tried to take the throne. Vicenia said no. Or maybe Vicenia tried to uh, put Magor on the throne or something. I don't know. All I know is that Vicenia's dead. Araxes killed Vicenia. He's in the dragon pit. This is a dragon duel, but I think just Rax has just shut up and killed her. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that in the next part. Thank you all for watching. Peace.